Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a puzzling issue that many TestNG users encounter. Our viewer asks, why are the at before suite and at before class methods being skipped when running tests in groups? Let's dive into this intriguing question and uncover the reasons behind this behavior. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. In this video, we'll address the issue of test ng skipping the at before suite and at before class methods when running tests in groups. Let's take a look at the provided code. We have a class named test structure with two methods annotated with at before class and at before suite. The test class extends test structure and contains a test method that belongs to the UAP group. This is where the issue arises. Now let's examine the testng.xml configuration file. Here we define a test that includes the UAP group. The key takeaway is that when you run tests in groups, testng does not execute the app before suite and app before class methods. To resolve this, you can either remove the group from the XML or adjust your test structure. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're facing issues with TestNG skipping at before suite and before class when running in groups, try this approach. Instead of including the groups you want to execute, exclude the ones you don't. Here's an example of how to set it up in your XML configuration. Make sure to define your suite and test correctly. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped answer your question and you found that answer that you're looking for. Now, please hit subscribe for the help. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time on another one of these videos. Cheers.